All right, everyone, we are going to look at OP. So Optimism, looking on the three-day chart here and going by the much larger Fibonacci from the high to the low, you can see we are right over that 618 at $2 here. So this is the reason I drew this green box on the chart here. You can see we have a high of about 216 at the moment. We're going to get this larger one off of the chart. And uh, we do have a couple of prices to watch here. So if you can hold on to the bottom of this green box, that does represent the um, 618 on that larger Fibonacci at two. If you can stay over $2 on, on optimism here, you are extremely bullish in my opinion. And that is a 5% drop. If we end up taking that out, you can see on the larger or the smaller Fib rather, from the low here to the high, we have 186 and then 170 here. As long as you stay above 186 and 170, you still have a shot at going back up or going sideways and uh, getting some accumulation going here. So it remains to be seen what's going to hold us support. But I would say ultimately, if you could stay over $2 on OP here, uh, she is really extremely bullish in my opinion. And then the moment you break this high at 216, She's going to start going. We do have a couple of targets here to watch, of course, here in red. So let's just go ahead and simply measure this for OP here. If you remain bullish, which you are right now, and you push through about 217, the next stop looks like it's about 244 for a 15% move. And then if you break through that, this thing's going to spike up all the way a 57% move up to about 330 here on optimism so i would keep an eye on those levels there uh any lower than the 186 you're probably going to fall off the table to a deeper correction here uh because you can see that if we just simply hold our mouse at that level here you can see the resistance here and all back here at that level and you know if we lose that as support she's probably going to come down to a 618 retracement or lower but yeah i would say 186 should hold if you hold 186 you're still bullish you hold two dollars you're extremely bullish and then once you push through 216 this thing's gonna start flying so yeah I mean it looks good right now it looks extremely bullish if we look at the overall chart for optimism here we zoom out to the weekly you can see that it's making higher highs and higher lows across the board so it is a very good looking chart I would have to say and to go a little bit further if we draw Fibonacci here from that high to that low, you can see that I'm just going to roughly do this. You can see it was getting stuck at the 618 here at about 138. And then once it broke that 618, it made a new high. So if we end up getting this off of the chart without making this update too long, let me just go ahead and uh, point out what I'm trying to point out here. And we go from that high to the new low here. You can see that the same thing is happening right now. We're breaking through that 618 at $2. So uh, stay over $2. You may have optimism here, make a new high from where we are right now and come up here and do something like this to where it comes up to the 1272 at about 470 here and keeping this market structure going. So that is a possibility. So on the macro scale of things, uh, if we're headed to a new high here, you could potentially have a nice move up about 120% here to that 470 level here. So we will leave it at that on optimism. Just kind of keep an eye on those support levels we spoke of. And we'll just leave it at that for now. Not financial advice. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out.